Hey, what's up, YouTube? Matt for the GoPros. Coming to you guys in the video today. So in this video, I'm going to be doing one of the first videos with the GoPro. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm hands-free. I got the GoPro here. Uh, definitely a wider shot than I was anticipating. You guys can see um, some of the gloves we got lined up over there. We keep all our gloves down here now for live streams. So we've been doing those pretty often. Uh, if you don't know what that is, you can now live stream on Instagram. So check us out if you don't already at the Glove Bros. Uh, we do streams pretty often. Uh, we've done in the past couple days just some different having some fun kind of Q&A type stuff. But in this video, I'm going to be doing a catcher's mitt break-in tutorial on like how to box a catcher's mitt, how to break it in, um, kind of all the steps that you're really going to need. So I got the Yachty. I also have the CM3000 over here. So uh, I'm just going to be giving a couple tips. Uh, when I first get a catcher's mitt, first thing I want to do is start playing with it. Uh, I'm going to start playing catch. I'm going to start molding it the way I like. I like to mold here. Uh, you're going to really put your thumb on the pressure point of the end of the toe, wrap it around, and roll it over. That's going to give you that nice box. wants to give you that pocket, that little roll. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the thumb. I'm going to grab it right here on the top of the toe, force it in, work my way down. What that's going to be doing is creating the cradle for the middle of the pocket. As you guys can see right now, it's pretty cradled. Um, this one does have a crease in it. That's natural on the Yachty. This came creased before I got it, which isn't a huge deal. It's just a crease, but um, I just want to show you guys like what a ball looks like. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is the cradle. This is the no pain zone when you catch something right here. Absolutely no pain. Um, Another two quick little tips is going to be this lace up here, the topmost lace. I'm going to bring it in and show you guys right there. The topmost lace. Um, that's what I'm going to pull. That's going to tighten the top of the web right here. So that's really important. Also, this one, same thing, topmost lace on the outside. Uh, when I pull that, get that out of the tug um, right here. So you'll always see me going at them in the videos. So like I'll pull them apart. You can see how it's like a little bit more flat. Now it's boxed, and now when I go in with both sides, that's the box. That's the U shape I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm going for in my catcher's mitts. Um, you want to play a lot of catch. That's how I prefer to break them in. A lot of people ask me, do I need a hot water? Why do you need a hot water or a catcher's mitt? It's a mitt that you're going to be catching You know, every game you're going to be you know, you're using this. If you catch the whole game, you're going to be catching... I don't know, probably 150, 160 balls, give or take, you know, maybe even more. I might even be off with that. Um, now here's the all-star. Same type of thing. Um, another little tip. Sometimes if you've got one that really doesn't want to box like this one, this one fought me a lot. Um, when it was shipped, it was squished, like, in the box. Like, it was shipped fine, but it looks like the box was deformed in shipping. And it came like this. It was super wide and, like, super flat like this. Um, some people like their mitts like that. I know he doesn't. That's why he sent it to me to box it and break it in. So, same thing. You're going to pull those. That's that box. That's the U. You're looking to create a U like that. So, that's where really what I'm going for is the U shape. Um... Sometimes, like, you want got one that's, you know, stay out a little bit. You want to roll this down and then roll this over. Same thing. Grab it and roll it. Don't be scared to move around your glove. It's not going to hurt it. Just, you know, really get in there. And then, boom, that's where you're going to be in all of uh, the power. So, another, people, another question people ask me, you know, if I could actually talk, is how to tighten the web. Well, right here on the All-Star, it could not be any easier if you were to untie this and pull them, it would make this tighter or looser. Um, as far as loosening it goes, one of these will be the lead. I think it's this one is the lead because if I look, it looks like it's following through. Um, you just pull on them, tug on them, um, you know, unknot this, and then when it's loose, you could pull it and then weed it through with the needle. It's pretty self-explanatory stuff. You just trace your steps, follow where you're going. So, you know, one will be for one side and then the other one will be on the other side. That's if you want to loosen the web, if you want to tighten it. If you just unknot this and pull it, like yank on it, it will tighten the web um, to extremely tight, which would be about here naturally. I'm not a huge fan of loosening, loosening the web. Um, I like my web about there, about like the gap. You see this one's a little bit smaller. Um, I'm not going to pull out his web anymore. Um, this is game ready in my opinion. Um, I think I did a pretty good job breaking it in. 
I'll show you guys a ball in the pocket. Still a little bit stiff, but I would feel more than comfortable using it in a game right now. Um, also left a little bit of break in for him. Like, you know, like it's, it's broken in, but it really wants to start molding to a hand. I can feel that, and I want to wait for, you know, for him to have it to really mold his hand. You can see the finger pad isn't really molding down too much, um, but that will just with time of use. Um, again, you know, if you want a hot water and more power to you, my suggestion, you know, play catch. This will work on all gloves, you know, all catcher's mitts. It doesn't have to be, you know, super high quality or an all-star. It could be a Wilson. It could be anything um, that you have. Um, like you can see, I love like when it starts to get that little curl down. That just creates such a cradle for the ball right there. Um, tighten the other side up just as much as well. And show you guys like the ball just wants to just roll right in there. Why I box catcher's mitts is I feel like it catches the ball better. It gives me a consistent break point on where the ball is going to be. So if I drop the ball in there, that's about as far as it's going to roll down. That's it. So pretty consistent where it's going to be every single time. So you know if someone's stealing, I could reach in and I know exactly where the ball is going to be. I know it's going to be here to up. That's it. It's not going to be rolling down here. It's not going to be up here. I know it's going to be in this, you know, major key area, so I could reach and transfer quicker. That is the main objective. You know, while you're catching, trying to throw someone out, is to be as fast as possible. If I can eliminate 0.1 seconds, point, you know, whatever, reaching in there, not fumbling around, that could be the difference between throwing out 30% of my runners and 35% of my runners. You know, that's massive. That's a big deal. You know, even with this one, you'll see his 34-inch pattern. You know, here it is. That's it. That's all it's going to roll. Here to there. It's not going to roll very far. I reach in. I know where the ball is going to be. It's out of my hand already transferred. This one on 34 is crazy because even today, I just caught Marco's flat ground today, earlier this morning. Um, threw a flat ground. Well, not this morning. This afternoon. I went to work today. Um, so when I came home from work, you know, he wanted to throw. I was like, cool, no problem. I'll catch. Um, like see right there, I say like the ball like barely fits in. That's exactly what I want. I want the ball like when I'm like in, it'll, my hand will be just a little bit more extended. Snap, it's right there. Snap. I didn't get any stingers today at all catching his flat ground. We were only about 40 feet away, and he was bringing it pretty good. He was going about you know 80, 85 percent. So he was bringing it. This thing just cradles everything. You can see right there. You know that's it. That's all of where it's going. Is boom right there no pad like look this is where my hand is so my hand is to put it on the outside would be here so as long as I'm catching the ball in here every time in this L you know if it was like slightly smaller than L it's about a you know I don't even know the angle like what it would be uh, probably be like a 35 degree angle as long as I'm catching everything in there no pain no pain no pain that's why I do the box um, you can break in your catch mitt another way if you want um, but this is how I do the boxing tutorial. Um, like I said, guys, same thing with the wrongs too. Laces right there to tighten it. It's always going to be right there. So I hope you guys did enjoy this. I hope it was helpful for you guys. I hope we can do some more tutorials in the future. Um, definitely have some stuff lined up. Um, I'm going to hold off on the What's in My Bag video for a little while. Seems like you guys are really enjoying the collection video, so I think I'm going to let that ride for a little bit. Also, I don't have my bat for this season, so this will be my... Um, last year in college, you know, senior, senior, and I'm going to be playing metal bats for the first time since high school. So um, I left um, a wood school last year, and I'm coming over to a metal school, and I definitely need a new bat. So right now I've just been, you know, biting off teammates using their bats, stuff like that. So I'm going to wait for the what's on my bag till it's official on what I'm going to be gaming for the 2017 season. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Always ask for more videos. Whatever's on your mind, just let us know. You can always DM us at the Club Bros on Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Room tour at 2K. Until next time, have a good day.